Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I will show you detailed staircase rise in trade calculation. So, this is the ground floor plan. This is the ground floor plan of Triflex house, three storied house. This is 2 BHK with parking area. This is first floor plan here. I have created two rooms, one storeroom, kitchen and living area. So I have created this in my previous video with staircase and this is the second floor plan. Here there is two rooms, one bedroom, one kids bedroom and one study room and living area with attached toilet. And all these plans I have already created in my previous video and its link is given in the description box. So please follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for all kinds of updates. Also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. So let's get started. So here I will calculate number of rise and trades of staircase. So let's start. So get, so get these videos go to the link given in the description box. So here. The vertical line is rise and the horizontal line is trade. This is the vertical line. This is rise and horizontal line. This is these are trades on plan. We can see these trades between these two lines. This is one trade. Okay. And these lines you can consider as rise. So here building height is 10 feet. And the landing 3 feet. So this is landing 3 feet. Length of staircase 12 feet. So here to here this is length of staircase 12 feet. Desired unit rise this you need to uh, assume that is 6 inch. Usually we take 6 inch. Trade 12 inch. Trade in also I have assumed here 12 inch. Now first we need to calculate total number of rise. So total number of rise is height of building divided by rise. So height of building we have 10 feet divided by rise 6 inch. So 10 feet divided by 6 inch that is 20 numbers. So total number of rise 20 numbers. Now we have 2 flights. So total, total number of rise 2 numbers. So number of rise in 1 flight we have 2 flights. So total number of rise divided by number of flight. Here 1 flight this is 2nd flight. So total number of rise 20 numbers divided by number of flights 2. So 20. You can see this is 2 flight 20 total number of rise we have calculated divided by number of flight 2 that is 10 numbers. So we are getting number of rise in one flight 10 numbers you can see 1 this is trade these lines you can consider rise. So rise we can see in elevation here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10. So total number of rise in one flight 10 here also 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10. These white lines are riser and between two lines that is trade. Now number of trades in one flight, number of rise in one flight minus 1. Okay, so number of trade is number of rise minus 1. So 10 minus 1 that is 9 number. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Don't consider landing as trade. Landing is separate. Or you can calculate number of trades in one flight. Another formula is total trade in one flight divided by one trade. Okay. So total trade means here to here. This is length of staircase. So total trade here to here. So length of staircase minus landing here to here. This is total trade. Okay. So number of trades in one flight. Total trade in one flight. Divided by 1 trade. 1 trade we have 12 inch. So we have to find out total trade in 1 flight. So total trade in 1 flight is length of staircase. Means here to here. That is 12 feet minus landing. Landing is 3 feet. So 12 feet minus 3 feet. Length of staircase we have 12 feet. Landing 3 feet. So 9 feet is total trade. So total trade is 9 feet. So total trade in one flight is 9 feet. So number of trades in one flight, flight, total trade in one flight by one trade. One trade, one length of one trade, 12 inch. So 9 feet divided by 12 inch, that is 9 numbers. Number of trades in one flight, 9 numbers. 
Same we have calculated here also nine numbers number of trades in one flight. Here also we have calculated nine numbers. Here also we have calculated nine numbers. So any formula you can use to calculate number of trades in one flight. Now total number of trades. Total number of trades. Number of trades in one flight multiply with number of flight. So number of trades in one flight. We have calculated nine numbers. Sorry, nine feet. Total number of trades. Sorry, nine numbers. Total trade in one flight into number of flight. Number of flight two numbers. So nine, nine numbers. Total number of trades in one flight into two. So we have eighteen numbers. Total number of trades. We get number of trades in one flight. That is nine numbers into number of flight. That is two flights. So eighteen numbers. Now you calculate nine. This side nine and this side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Both side nine into two, eighteen numbers. One flight nine numbers, another flight nine numbers. So total trade in one flight nine feet. Number of trades in one flight nine numbers. So no, total number of trades eighteen numbers. Total number of flights twenty numbers. Total number of trades in one flight nine numbers. Now. Number of rides in one flight we have calculated ten numbers. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now total number of rides twenty numbers. So this side ten numbers. This side also ten numbers. Twenty numbers total. Number of trades in one flight nine numbers. One flight. See, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, nine. Number of trades in one flight nine numbers. Total number of trades eighteen numbers. So one flight nine numbers. Both flights eighteen number. Total trade in one flight here to here staircase length minus landing that is nine feet. Total trade this is landing. So total number total staircase length twelve feet minus three feet landing that is nine feet. Total trade in one flight. Now staircase length the length of staircase twelve feet. We have that. We know that. So we have calculated this. So I hope you understand how to calculate. So here we have calculated all this. Now I will show you here. This is the staircase. Here to here, this is twelve feet length of staircase. Number of rise in one flight ten numbers. See, one, two, three. This lines between two lines. This is one trade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Total twenty numbers. Number of rise in one flight ten numbers. Number of rise total number of rise twenty numbers. Two flights we have. The number of trades in one flight nine numbers. This is trade between two lines. This is trade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now both flights. We have two flights, so total number of trades nine. This side nine, eighteen numbers. Now total trade in one flight nine feet. Staircase length twelve feet. Minus landing. This is landing three feet. So twelve feet minus landing three feet. So we get total trade. Sorry. Sorry, total trade here to here. This is nine feet. Okay, total length of staircase minus landing. So that is total trade, nine feet. Length of staircase, twelve feet. We have now building height. We have ten feet. Landing three feet. This is landing. We have three feet. Here to here, three feet. Rise six inch and tread twelve inch. So like this, you can calculate total number of rise and tread. This is one feet or twelve inch, and rise we can see in elevation, one feet. So this is the staircase staircase calculation. I have already created U shape L shape staircase. 
so its link is given in the description box please go through the description box for detailed staircase calculation and in my next video i will provide column layout plan beam layout plan sectional elevation front elevation all these videos i will provide in my next upcoming videos so i hope you understand how to calculate number of rise and treads and these plans all these plans i have already created in my previous videos please go through the link given in the description box so if you like this video then don't forget to like share and comment thank you for watching